Hey guys, welcome to Picture Book Drama, where it is everything in entertainment. I am your host, Sean, your video and comic guru. Welcome to part two of my April mega haul. This is, this is huge. This is, this is big. <laughs> um, it's, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm get, trying to get over a cold. I've been under the weather really bad lately, but uh, the show must go on. But <laughs> this is going to be um, Marvel Gallery heavy. Um, part one had three of them, possibly five. I'm not sure. Um, two of them I may have, uh, show you guys again. But don't want to take up a lot of time. I want to jump right into this because I just can't believe this all showed up today. So it gave me the opportunity to do the second part because that's what I really was waiting for was all of this. This was part two was all this stuff coming in. So if you've been following me on Instagram or uh, Facebook, if you're part of the syndicate, hey guys, what's up? Um, I've been posting a lot of stuff on there uh, about any new stuff I get. But to all you guys who don't and who don't know me at all or who are new to my channel, Specifically, I would like to say welcome to Victor Ruiz. Ruiz, I am so horrible with names, but your name's right there. Thank you so much for being the newest subscriber. We have a small but loyal following, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much for um, having faith in me and wanting to watch my channel. So enjoy, and hopefully you'll tell your friends. And hey, all you guys out there, tell your friends. I don't know. But the goodness of picture book drama, but... Let's jump into the stuff. I have a lot of Marvel galleries here. Um, a Cotopakia, some Pops, but a lot of Marvel galleries. I am trying to complete the Marvel gallery collection, which is not easy considering all the pre-orders they have out there right now. There are more pre-orders than actual statues they have out. Simple, I mean, simply all the uh, Avengers Infinity War, there's like at least six or seven pre-orders out and I probably about another five, maybe eight more coming. But I love them. I love them. I love them. So, okay. I'm going to just jump in. First one I got. <clears throat> and if you did see part one, I love you guys. If not, why not? Watch it and come back. But you did see in part one that I have. Daredevil. This is a GameStop exclusive. This is a different Netflix uh, statue than the original one that they had out. Now, and uh, the original one is based on Netflix, and I'm just got stuff all over the place. So, first one I have is let me make sure I get it in a good light. This is Electra. This is based on the Netflix series, so this is gorgeous. I love the packaging. It has the window pane on all three sides and the top. The back shows you what the statue looks like. The bottom just has all their info, so if you ever want the information, there it is right there. Just pause it and there it is for you. But I love the fact I display mine like this because I'm actually filming all this stuff at my storage. The reason why I don't have this stuff in my home is because I have lots of little people running by who are always sticky. I don't know how they're always sticky. How do you get sticky after having a bath? But they do, and I don't want those sticky hands on this stuff. I spend, I spend way too much time trying to find this stuff. I don't want them, like, destroyed. I'm sorry, I'm a big kid that way, but that's who we all are. That's why you're watching, because you're a big kid, too. But this is Elytra, so here you go with there. So that's the first one. Off to a slow start, but I swear I'm going to keep going. Uh, the next one that I have, actually I showed you guys this a couple of months ago, probably last summer, but that is Luke Cage. This one, like I said, I already had, but this is part of the Netflix series, so I do have that one. Next one I have, and this one actually kind of is the reason why I'm going to be showing you the next one coming up. Maybe. I don't know whatever I'm doing this stuff in, but I got Jessica Jones based on a Netflix series. Very cool. This one actually is the shortest one out of all of them. Uh, I believe right now they all are 11 inches tall. She's the only one that's 9 inches tall. So, even with the pedestal. So, kind of weird that she's a shorter one. Even Electra's taller than her. 
Uh, the next one is... You gotta have Dear Devil. And now that I have this Dear Devil, which is also based on a Netflix series, I can bait, I can actually look at that one compared to this one, which is the upgraded version. This one just came out um, last month, maybe even earlier this month. This one's been out um, at least I think since the beginning of the year. So not that long, maybe even last year it came out. So it's, this one's been out for a little while. That one is very recent. So that'd be very cool to have those side by side because I'm not sure if they're even the same costume. Actually, I think they're the same costume, but I will uh, eventually do a video that has all of my Marvel Gallery um, images, oh, image statues, and that way I can compare those two as well. But I also wanted to uh, show this one in case if I did show it in my last video, please forgive me. Like I said, I've been really ill lately, but I do have the Jessica Jones as Jewel. This is based on the Marvel comic book character. Um, that Brian Bendis created. The um, one I showed you earlier, that one is based on a Netflix series. So, got that one. This one I think I showed you as well, but I really, really think I didn't. <laughs> but I want to show it off because this one, I was looking up online trying to get this, and normally these don't cost a lot of money. You can get them if you know where to look for like $39. The most you should pay for these things is 50 bucks, and that's if you're at a high-end store or you're some someplace with a lot of tax. But this one, for some reason, was very expensive, and I knew my Barnes & Noble had this. So if I can, I'm going to upload now. The video of me trying to find it at Barnes and Noble. I was filming this on, um, with my phone, so it's hilarious. You know, me just trying to walk around trying to find it because I didn't know where the hell it was. But as you can see in there, I was successful, and I ended up finding the Ant Man. This one is based on the original Ant Man movie. This one I do love. I didn't know how much I liked this one because I've seen this for a good year at Barnes and Noble and at other places, even at uh, GameStop, and I didn't get it. There was always something else I wanted more, and kind of like the in Incredible Hulk uh, Marvel Gallery, I just didn't do it until it just disappeared and I, re I realized just how much I wanted it. Luckily, I do own both of them now, and I got them both at a very low cost. The Incredible Hulk one, I think I paid $30 for. The Ant-Man one, this one, was originally $44.95. At Barnes & Noble, this was actually uh, 25, no, 30% off. I had to look at my receipt. It was actually 30% uh, off, and I'm a member of Barnes & Noble, so I got additional 10% off. So I got this thing for about 20 bucks. I didn't realize what a great deal, because I bought other stuff at the time, so I thought I may have paid like regular price, but with this one, I actually did, and I paid a lot less for it, so. Yeah, awesome. All right, uh, next one I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, I'll do this one first because it actually kind of keeps with a kind of a theme of everything that we were looking at. This one's a very new one that came out, I believe, in January. I love, love, love Diamond Select that they do so many characters and they do the comic book and the TV or movie uh, version of them as well. So they actually ended up doing the comic book version of Daredevil. This is amazing. And it actually has, just like with all the rest, a window pane display. But it does come with the rope and the rope is actually um, like a coil, you can actually um, mold it how you want. So you can have it in a throwing motion where the coil is wrapping around them, kind of like the way Joe Casada used to uh, draw them in the, when the Kevin Smith drew them, or was writing them. All this great stuff in there. This is awesome. So happy to have this. So that is basically, I have now a comic book version of Daredevil. And I have a Netflix version. Actually, I have two Netflix versions of Daredevil. 
Now, the one that I want that is the most elusive or the most expensive one to get is the Punisher, which I have a picture of right here. Well, just like with the Daredevil that they came out with this year, there's a Punisher that's going to come out later on this year, I believe in August, which hopefully I'll have a picture of right as I'm speaking now, so you can see how that one is. I need both, but the Punisher um, one with the rifle, that one that is a part of the set behind me, I can't find that for less than $100, and I don't want to pay 100 bucks for it. I'm hoping I can either find it at a comic store or maybe somebody has it on here and can uh, give me a good deal on it. Let me know. But that's the only way I ask myself even getting that right now. So, But again, I do have the Luke Cage one here, so I'll just stick that one there. So I know what I already sh I went through because it's not that much left. Actually, it's just these are big items. So the next two and the last two in the Marvel Galleries that I'm going to show you are two I just wanted from the minute I saw them. Just like with the Daredevil I just showed you, these two just came out this year. Uh, I didn't know they were actually physically in the city of Chicago until I went to one of my local comic shops and found it there. And I had to order it online because I knew I could get it for $10 less each, which is why you go through Big Bad Toy Store. So that's where I got all of these that I've shown you right now, except for obviously the Ant-Man uh, and I believe the... Jessica Jones as Jewel, I think that was either eBay or Amazon. I think it was eBay. The rest of them were Big Bad Toy Store. But I'm talking and I should be showing you. I have, oh, Spider-Woman. I love Spider-Woman. I have always been a big fan of Spider-Woman. This actually gives you a great view of the uh, statue. And I believe that the hands are detachable so you can remove the effect if you don't want to have it on there because it does kind of look plastic and I don't know. I think it will look better with, <clears throat> excuse me, that cold just won't go. <laughs> I think it will look better without it on there. But one thing I was upset about, and Big Bad Toy Store is usually is very good with their packing. And this is basically being very nitpicky in my opinion, but it kind of bugged me. It was ripped right there, but you know what? I'm, I don't display it like this anyway, because you can't really see the statue. I display it like this until I can actually get some DTOF uh, display cabinets and be able to uh, show them properly without sticky hands getting the hands on them. I, uh, I'd rather they stay in the storage unit, which is why I film here. So I will put this here all right and the last and never least of my marble gallery so I'm going to show you right now is a recent one this is why I love marble gallery and diamond select in general is the fact that for very little money, you get a great statue and you get versatility with them in ways you don't with a lot of other pieces. And this one did something that the other ones didn't do that I'm aware of. And that is the Spider-Man Homecoming. I love the kinetic pose of him being on a roof or on a ledge or a wall. A wall, right? My God, I can't think to that. But on the wall like that. If you look at it up close, I mean, and eventually I will have these out of the box. When I do my uh, my Marvel Gallery collection video, all these will be out the box so you can see them. But the bottom of the base is see-through, so if you shine a light through it, it actually will reflect a um, Spider-Man signal on the Spider-Man. And the base is removable. And on the back of it is a wall, is an... Um, an cut out that allows you to hang it on a wall. So you can actually put this on a wall. That's amazing, that's so awesome. And there obviously will be a Spider-Man Hulk or Spider-Man Infinity War that will come out because there are a ton, ton of Marvel Gallery um, Infinity War statues that's coming out. There's Cap, Iron Man, Thor, Black Widow, Doctor Strange, Black Panther, and Thanos. 
Plus, on top of all that, you have a Wolverine in a brown outfit. You have Rogue from the Savage Lands. You have Black Widow. You have X-23. That's a shitload of pop. And shitload, I keep wanting to say pops. I wish it was pops. It'd be so much cheaper. Uh, that's a lot of statues. Even if they're all like just $39.99 or $39.95 each. You know, if you want to get these and make sure that they're not sold out, you better go ahead and get them. But I can't always do that. So I'm kind of like just hoping that they're around, you know, in the next couple of months. But I think they will be. So that's going to be it for the Marvel Galleries that I have right now. Ugh. And I am actually that anal about the order in which I put stuff up, too, because... You got to make sure it's going to be able to support it and look good. And it has to visually look all right. I'm an artistic guy. Leave me a hell alone. But um, <laughs> I am so, so not feeling well right now. You have no idea. Um, but I love you guys. That's why we do this. Um, so the next one I'm going to show you is one that I am. Oh, I just. This is a happy moment for me because this for the moment completes my Code of Ikea CW collection and luckily it's only four pieces so it was very easy to do if you saw in part one and I will grab it so forgive me for showing you my fat butt and you saw probably in my hand what I already had so that was you know anticlimactic but the first video I showed you Supergirl, which I may or may not have actually hit on the fact that if you look at her up close, and I'm going to put actually an uh, a image of this up, she looks like Kirsten Dunst, like a young Kirsten Dunst. She doesn't look so much like uh, Melissa Benost, so much like the Icon Hero statue that I have. That looks like her. This looks like Kirsten Dunst, so that's kind of that's kind of weird, but... Anyway, it still looks awesome and it has some great uh, different ways to pose it. But now I have the villain, the one that I will love the most and the one that actually comes with a nice uh, special feature that is actually for the Flash. And that is the reverse Flash. I'll actually start this way. <laughs> but as you can see, again, it has that window pane here that makes it hard to see the statue when you're trying to show it off on the screen. But, you know... I love the packaging. There is the side. If you ever see them from the side, that's what it looks like. Top window pane, just like Marvel Gallery does. But the back, just like a Marvel Gallery, shows you what the statue looks like. But this has a special additional light up feature. The eyes light up. But it also comes with, and it's hard to see, but it's right in there, the original Flash emblem, which is red, if you remember season one. So you can actually take off, and I didn't know this, you can remove the white emblem from the original Cotopakia CW Flash statue and put this one on it, which when I do my Cotopakia collection, I will do that. But uh, that is awesome. So very, very happy to have this. And I got this. This was the most expensive thing that I bought in a while, and this was $69.95. I've been buying so many Marvel galleries. I've been so spoiled for thirty nine ninety five that I've been like sixty nine ninety five. That's almost two statues. But I've been wanting this. Actually, um, I should have ordered this before I ordered the Supergirl because this has been out before her. But I didn't want Supergirl to go up in uh, price. He had been out for a while and they had been at that same price, so I knew he would still be around. So yay for getting that one. Now I got three. Statue or not. I have three toys. Um, I have to show you these are not Marvel galleries. These are not Ikea Ike. Oh Yeah, you damn right. These aren't Ikea. These are Funko Pops. These are Marvel Avengers Infinity War Funko Pops. These are three. I'm going to show you are exclusives First one I'm going to show you is from box lunch second one will be from FYE and the third one will be from, uh, I have no idea what the third one is from. It's from, uh... <laughs> it's from Hot Topic. Yay for good memory. But this is something that I don't normally do with Funko Pops. I am not 
a collector of Funko Pops in a way where I will go out of my way to find a Funko Pop. If I come across it in the wild, I'll get it. This is the first time I've actually legitimately looked for these pops. And I've luckily found them in very cheap pricing next to, you know, actually I think all these were at their original price so I didn't get robbed at anything. But this first one is the um, number 305 Marvel Avengers Infinity War. This is the maskless Spider-Man or Iron Spider as they're calling him here. So I don't know if they're actually going to call him Iron Spider in the movie. It might be a joke that they may call him that, but I don't really see him doing being called that. It's a side of it. That way. But, have that. This next one is Avengers Infinity War number 304. This is the FYE exclusive. This is Iron Man. This is him, Tony Stark, I should say. Or the maskless Iron Man. So you got that. And the last one is the only one which is an original Funko Pop, which means this one is not a maskless one. This is a new character, at least for the Infinity War line, not necessarily for the Funko Marvel movie line. This one is number 307, and that is the Vision. I love this one. This one looks so awesome. I This is why I finally broke down and went into Funko Pops because they do give some nice kinetic poses and I say that a lot but when you get a statue or a Funko Pop something like that that you're going to display you want it to be something that's going to be eye-catching and maybe something that even if everybody else has it maybe the way you display it will be different but you don't want a static statue that's why I don't do hot toys because if you pose them for a long period of time, they may crease and crack, and that's a lot of money for a statue where you just have them there with your arms down. With these, they're already in their pose. You just got to make sure you don't have them in direct sunlight and dust. Put them in a you know a, a detox case from IKEA, which is why I have IKEA on my head in my um, brain because I still have to buy some. I haven't yet because even if I get them, I have to leave them un you know, assembled in my storage unit, and that's a lot of glass to leave on the floor. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to wait till I am at the point of finding out where I'm going to move eventually to, because I am in the process of looking, and how much space I have to display things, because I don't want them actually in my bedroom. You know, I want them in their own room that I have as an office, but that is, I believe, it. So... That's part two. That is my haul. That is a huge Marvel Gallery haul. Um, I th think I ended up getting like two, four, six, eight, ten. I, about 11 or 12 Marvel Galleries were in this um, two-part video. That's a lot. And there's still uh, uh, so many of them out there. I still need Captain Marvel, Medusa, um, Deadpool. I do have um, On The Way. Um, and I got a, such a great deal. Um, actually, I just bought it today. It is Lady Lady Deadpool and Lady Thor. I got them for $47 for the two. And it was $11.54 in shipping and handling all that stuff. So for $63 and some change, I got two Marvel Gallery statues, brand new, that are on their way. I'll get them probably within the next two weeks. And I also have on the way, because I just showed you those three um, exclusive Infinity War pops. I do have on the way the Thanos Walmart um, pop. I just bought that today, too, at the same time I bought the two uh, Marvel Galleries. So I have some more things on the way, but that's going to do it for me, guys. I don't want to take up any more of your time. If you guys have any Marvel Galleries that you are looking to sell, just like I said, I'm looking for Medusa, Captain Marvel... All the Deadpools, which means the regular red one, the, um, the yellow and blue, the X-Force one. I want all those. Um, I'm not sure what else I need. Um, I need the Gwenpool. I'm hoping I could probably pick my Gwenpool this weekend. 
at least the unmasked one. But either way, let me know. I'm kind of rambling on and talking quickly, but hit me up in any of these places here. I'll try to remember to put them in the comment section or in the uh, description section below. I forgot to do that in part one. Try to you know, put stuff out early in the morning. Never a good idea. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Again, thank you so much to Victor Ruiz. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It, I am actually going to subscribe to your uh, YouTube channel because I know you do have one as well. So thank you, brother. You got that sub coming your way. So thank you so much for that. But until then, remember here at Picture Book Trauma, it is everything in entertainment. I am your sick host, Sean, your video comic guru. I will see you guys next time. Hopefully I can start doing movie news again. I really enjoy doing it. I just, it's timing and everything else, but we will see how the future goes. But until then, I'll see you guys. Peace. Okay guys, I know you thought the video was over with. I thought the video was over with. Literally, right after I filmed it, I realized that there was one more Marvel Gallery statue that I wanted to pick up and I went at 7 o'clock at night in Chicago, Illinois. I raced down to my lo local GameStop and I picked up the GameStop exclusive Gwenpool. This is the unmasked um, version. This is how it will be displayed in the stores but you can't really see the statue so I always show it this way, but as always, they have the window panes, sides, and top, bottom. Now, this originally is $49.99, excuse me, $49.99. This was on clearance, so it was 30% off. So I actually got it for about $32 and some change. So that's amazing. I actually renewed my uh, membership, so uh, my membership renewal was $14.99. So I left out of there with tax, it was $55.97 win. So that's one more to add to it. So yeah, so one less to do. So thanks guys. See ya.